Hey Scorpios, welcome back to the channel guys. We are doing our weekly conversation with your purse and it's open conversation, whatever wants to come through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This week we're using Finestra Tarot. Uh, clarifier is Steampunk Tarot. And of course we're using both sides of the Big Mama Message deck. I pre will put our energy on it so you don't have to sit through that. Yes. <laughs> Guys, let's jump in. Let's see who's coming forward for you. You know, if this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I pick up the energy there. Bottom of the deck energy. We've got a tower. Obstacles being removed. Divine intervention. Ooh, let's jump in. Let's see who's coming forward for my Scorpios. Whose energy is the strongest? And what are we going to talk about? Scorpios, Scorpios, and y'all forgive Miss Minnie, the snoring chihuahua, she is snoring y'all, mm. we've got eight of wands, momentum, things picking up, but also sometimes can be long, long distance communication, body language also signals, mm. ooh, we got two, flew out, Seven of Pentacles, patience, but frustration while we're exhibiting the patience. And King of Cups, a vision of what we're wanting. Somebody, a King of Cups is Scorpio energy, guys. Um, he's our visionary. He holds a vision of what it is they're wanting. And there's some frustration on things may not be moving fast enough to uh, for what they're wanting. What they're envisioning. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. What else? Ooh, right here. Ooh, nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. So we definitely got somebody um, that is feeling frustrated um, when it comes to what they're wanting, their wish fulfillment. They're being patient. But they're also questioning, is it ever going to happen? <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. mm. Let's go in on that wish fulfillment. Let's see what they're wanting. Let's see if they'll tell us what the wish is that they're wanting to get fulfilled, that they're getting agitated with. Freedom, independence. Freedom and independence. They're feeling alone. Mm. Recognition. Three of Pentacles is also teamwork blueprint. Oh, turning point. Ready to walk away from something. But it's also about making long-term sacrifices that have left you lacking on an emotional level. Ooh, their, their true wish is freedom and independence. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Let's talk about that Three of Pentacles. A uh, two of cups energy. Mm -hmm. Partnership. Nine of swords is challenging. That's Gemini energy. Challenging. And they're constantly having to protect, uh, guard and protect their self. And like they have to stand up for their self in justice, matters of justice, fairness and truth. Ooh, is it a legal matter? Legal matter? Tell me about the uh, freedom. Freedom. Hmm. Four cuts. There's an offer of love that they can't take right now. They're not free to take it. King of Swords. Legal matters. Somebody's in legal matters for real, guys. They're tying up loose ends to something or legalities of something that they're waiting for something to get finalized that gives them freedom. Freedom. Whatever it is, they, it's been long-term sacrifices for them. Uh, whatever it is that they're wanting that freedom from. Uh-huh. It could, like I said, it could be a relationship. Getting out of a relationship. Because they're, they're, the, the offer of love, what they're wanting, they can't take right now because they don't have that freedom, complete freedom for it yet. Hmm. Huh. Let's see their seven of pentacles. 
Seven of Pentacles. That frustration of what they're trying to be patient, what they're wanting to bring to fruitation and, and getting agitated and frustrated about. Victory. Mm, right here. Magician. Winning. <laughs> Manifesting. Ah, the Queen of My Heart. Cancer. Queen of Cups. Energy. Hmm. So this person is definitely, for whatever reason, they're not able to fully step into a connection with us right now, my Scorpios. Because they would be holding you in that queen of their heart energy. Don't don't let the gender throw you. It's just the energy. It, our queens captivate someone's heart completely. Mm -hmm. So this person definitely is wanting to, to step into a connection with us, but... They're not able to for whatever reason. Are they with someone else? What is it? It's legalities of tying up something. And it's they bring it across as like uh, legal stuff. Legal stuff. Or just technicalities of stuff. Huh. Tell us about the Eight of Wands. Oh, things aren't moving fast enough. They can't take the cup. The queen of their heart <laughs> is offering to them. They want some change. They definitely want change. Tell me about the two of, two of pentacles. Because that is change. Acclimating new changes. I don't want, they want to be stable in a connection with you. And, ooh, overwhelmed by choices. Hold on. <laughs> Back it up. <laughs> what are they worried about? The queen... Changing her mind and not being there stable, uh, having uh, options available to them to move on. The hair font, uh, it's faith, faith. So what they're saying, uh, they're they're worried that you might move on. You might get tired and move on. Uh, that you've got other choices and. It, Faith, the faith, the hair font, tradition, uh, commitment, commitment. Mm, what fell out? Page of Swords. Oh, okay, so that's overthinking things. That's a slave of love through the intellect. It's where you're trying to figure something out that has to do with l relationship and love through your head rather than your heart. It's also a subconscious messenger. Let me pull the steampunk. Let's tap into their subconscious message. Um, it will be a trigger form, a trigger. When they feel a certain way, thoughts will be triggered into their sub, from their subconscious. Let's see what that being triggered. What is the trigger? What's the thoughts? Tell us that thought. What is it saying to you? Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, the mover. Disappointed. Uh -huh. Being left behind. Devil energy because I'm not free right now. And trying to uh, tie up loose ends. What else? What else? You'll change. Scorpio. Scorpio energy. Transformation change. And cut, cut them off. Cut the bullshit with the Ace of Swords. And make a new plan and move on. Mm. So they are, they, they, they've got a subconscious trigger that uh, you become impatient. That uh, you get bored with them kind of thing. Um, waiting on them. And that you'll cut them loose, you know, cut the BS because they're coming in with, they seem to think they're coming in with a lot of baggage and BS. Uh that you might get tired of them having to deal with. Ooh, Scorpio. Okay. Let me put the shelf of the energy on this deck and then lock it for my Scorpio's person. Hold the energy. Let's go ahead and get the messages. Let's see what they want to say on the Eight of Wands. We've got June, Gemini Cancer energy. Uh, that should give someone confirmation uh, if it don't ring a bell for you now. Hang on to it. it. might give you clarity or confirmation in the future. Near future, y'all. Not years down the road. Like a couple of weeks. I want, if, I want a family with you. Oh. That's what the momentum. That's what they want the momentum to pick up on. 
I know there is a reason why we met. I know we have a real connection. Mm. Let's move over to their uh, King of Cups, the Visionary. Y'all know that's my Scorpio. <laughs> You're my vision, Scorpio. I'm trying to look strong. My feelings for you scare me. Mm -hmm. They're having some trigger anxiety about it. I want to risk it all, but I'm afraid. So anything else? Anything else? Mm -hmm. My last relationship was very toxic. The word very popped out and stood off, y'all. Let's see their wish fulfillment card over here. What are they going to say on that? I'm so happy when I'm with you. Ooh. What else? I want to tell you how I feel. I love and care for you more than you will ever know. Ooh, guys. Okay, let's rotate the message decks so I know which side to pull from next. And we'll go back to the tarot. It's for my Scorpios. Their person. Let's keep talking, please. Anything else? Scorpio's person. Yes, there he is. Ooh, competition, chaotic and confusing. The five of Wands. Opportunity. That's coming in under that uh, for the patience, patience. Opportunity. Mm, the momentum, the frustration of wanting things to move faster for them. With that five of wands under it, that's probably their shadow energy feeling like you know, they, they got to compete. And then overwhelmed by choices. And that's, uh, they're coming in under their wish card. They're overwhelmed by choices, options. I think they're, they're going back over their uh, shadow. What fell out, y'all? Scorpio death. Yeah, change. Hmm. That seems to be their just their fear right now is that they're going to lose you in this process because whatever it is is taking time for them to tie up loose ends on and get that freedom, that independence to fully step into something with you. Uh, with this one, they probably got fear that you 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 gonna move on to someone else that's got less less cray cray in their life. That and the death Scorpio energy is, you know, that you'll change. Your heart's going to change the way you feel, and you're going to start looking for other options, look for opportunity to, you know, get away from them. That's sad. <laughs> That's sad, y'all. Do we want to go deeper on anything here? Hmm. <sighs> Because it's, it's pretty, you know, they pretty much, what they threw out doesn't really need to be clarified because it's obvious it's their shadow oh, anxiety worries that they have. Let's go deeper, though. Let's get them to talk on the opportunity, not just uh, them worried about you looking for an opportunity, to, you know, different options for you to, you know, to move on. But let's see what they want to, you know, opportunity. Let's ask them to focus in on the positive of an opportunity. Opportunity for them to actually get the freedom to tie up the loose ends. Let's get them to talk positively. Ow, oh, two of wands, young emperor. Moving forward. Oh, they're not going to because we have some obsessing and stressing. Yes. Oh, I thought we were starting out good with them in that, uh... I can think about, I can almost see, I can almost see with the two of wands, because we're coming, we're talking about a three of wands, three of wands is stepping the threshold, two of wands has you pausing for a minute, but you're very confident about going forward, because that's the young emperor starting out, <laughs> you're in lead, you're feeling confident, and then they throw out the obsessing stress and needless, needless stress and anxiety, hmm, Oh, wait, this one is trying to fly out at us. And death card. Oh, my God, they really are worried about change. You changing. Tell me about my Scorpios. What, what are you wanting from my Scorpios right now? What would make you feel good? Ten of swords. If they could just quit beating yourself up with their monkey brain chatter and thought. 
if they could have the freedom and independence what else to acclimate some change <laughs> yeah let's get into this change and i want into that two of cups energy with my scorpio yes two of cups energy is uh, the in the, the yang it's a balanced uh connection healthy connection Mm, and, and I think that the, instead of throwing the lovers, they threw this one because they feel like they're they're out of balance with you can give so much, but they don't seem to be able to right now. So it throws the balance of the connection out and they want to give more, more to you than what they've been given. So, yeah. Mm, got a lot of stress and anxiety, obsessive thoughts, and then that ten of swords is is drained. They are absolutely stressed out, drained, and can't take no more. Ooh, their brain has worked on them. Yes, it did. Let's get the messages. Let's come in on the five of wands. You're incredibly sexy. <laughs> Please don't make me compete with anyone else for you. Oh my God. Oh, we're getting two. Sometimes you make me really mad. And then we got in time. In time. What else? What are you talking about in time? Let me hold this one out for a minute. We might want to pull on that one. Your touch heals me. In time, your touch heals me. And will you touch me? <laughs> oh my God, y'all. Anything else? Yes. Obligations stand in the way. Let's, we're going to hold that one out and we'll pull on it for when we get done. Three. Three of Wands. We're soulmates. Mm -hmm. I'm scared of what's ahead. Yeah, they're having some anxiety about losing you. I'm so lost in you. Let's come in on that Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Where you might have some options available to you to move on. This time I'll do things right. Please trust me. Oh, please trust me. What else? We got November. Scorpio Sagittarius. Is that them just confirming they were telling you that? I can't imagine life without you. Was there anything else? Anything else? Yes. I need to look into your eyes. Oh, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Hold the energy on the deck. In time. What are they telling us in time? Of course, your your touch heals me, but in time. In time what? In time what? In time what? In time what? Ooh, those don't want to let go of me. Oh, justice. Fairness, balance. When I get a Libra sign, I'm automatically in my in my mind's eye, I see the yin, the yang, the yin and the yang off the two of cups. In time, it's going to be balanced. Don't give up. Winning through through a lot of adversity and opposition, battle weary, but they're not giving up because you yeah. When we get a nine of wands, the the, the energy on it is like everything is telling you. You should give up. You should just throw that white flag. I give up. I surrender. I can't take no more. But there's a part of you that says, hell no. I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to win. And you get up and brush yourself off. Oh, King of Pentacles, your person is there for you in time. And they're trying to make things happen with that Sagittarius night. They are moving and shaking things. They are on fire. To prove their love and loyalty to you. To make it happen. They will not give up no matter how battle weary they get. And everything's going to balance out right for them. The truth, justice, and fairness to them in time. In time. That come in on in time, y'all. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's push up. Let's get your person to focus on a deck they want to give you final and closing messages from. Scorpio's person. Where's our energy at? Ooh, they pulling big guns on y'all. Mm -hmm. Conversation with counterparts. The light side of the message deck. It's got pretty stuff in it. Sometimes I blush when I have to read these cards. It's okay. I like it. 
<laughs> no words can ever do this feeling justice. I'm loving you with every heartbeat. You're my safe place. Oh, Scorpios. I love you. I love you. Oh, man. The light in me sees the light in you. My heart is guarded at the moment. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of anxiety about you moving on. Your light is leading me home. Last one, guys. We wished upon the same star. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Okay, Scorpios, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings, as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Let's be.